Hey guys, welcome back and if you're new to the channel, welcome to my channel AFC Curtis. I'm Curtis and today I'm super excited to be talking to you guys about the latest signings including the big name that dropped oh a couple about a week ago now, a big signing over in Vancouver Island for Pacific FC as well as the latest news about the Canadian Championship Tournament in 2019. We finally have a schedule, I'll break that down as well as the latest signings all in this video starting right now. Another big name signing to Pacific FC about a week and a half ago ended up being striker Marcus Haber, the 29 year old, comes over from the Scottish Championship and I, he actually spent the last eight years bouncing around in Europe there. He's a talented player, I think the coming to the Canadian Premier League though in 2019 will help him fight his way back onto the national team radar and I think this guy will definitely be lighting up the Canadian Premier League in 2019 with goals and you definitely will see him in the Golden Boot conversation. And big signing for Pacific FC, he's automatically one of the top, if not the top striker in 2019 for the Canadian Premier League. The next round of signings here is Pacific FC picked up three young lads in Alessandro as well as Matthew Baldissimo and of course Taron Campbell. Now Alessandro's come is 19 years old and is coming. Actually he played in, since 2017 in Bulgaria for the under 21 squad there and is developing quite nicely their attacking midfielder. And of course Campbell and Baldissimo are both 20 years old and both are actually coming from USL's Fresno FC. So definitely look out for those guys as future stars in the league. Next up here we got Halifax and they came out of the gate hard in 2019 starting with goalkeeper Jean-Michael Williams who's actually got 81 caps with the uh, Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago national team. They also signed midfielder Elton John who of course already has the best name in the CPL and of course Andre Rampersad who's a 23 year old box to box midfielder as well as forward Akeem Garcia. So those four guys coming in they're automatically starters. I believe in the starting 11 for Halifax in match day one. I think they're going to bring a lot of good uh, talent to Halifax and I think they're going to help bring a level professionalism to the club right off the bat, which is great. They also just recently signed uh, Chakid Hossain um, and this guy actually has past experience. He actually played a couple years ago uh, with FC, Edmund, or FC Montreal with uh, Zach Sukanda there. And this guy's a crazy tackler. I don't know if you've seen the video on Halifax's Twitter account, but go check it out right now. This guy has made some deadly tackles. Next, we got Rob Gale and his four signings, actually. Some really good, young, talented players with a lot of potential here. With 25-year-old defender Jordan Merrill, who actually was a 2015 draft pick in the MLS and has spent the last few years developing in the USL. And of course, we also have um, Glenn Monin Cat, 20 year old midfielder coming from the Bundesliga 2 under 21 league there has also spent time with Gale at the U18 level for Canada and then of course we also have Rafael Garcia a 19 year old defender who is coming actually has spent time with the Montreal Impact and Ottawa Fury systems there and of course this is actually a player Rob Gale has been scouting the last little bit and has actually really liked how he's developed in that time frame and of course he's only 19 so that's a big cap for his potential and then finally 23 year old midfielder Raphael Owen and he's coming from the uh, WSA Winnipeg's system there so he's played the last couple years in Winnipeg so he already knows the city he knows the system I'm sure he knows Rob Gale so I think those are four really good signings and I think the potential is there for these guys and we, of course Rob Gale I think is a coach that's going to give a lot of good young um, talent at the time and the minutes to grow and develop like, like like a lot of teams will but this is these are four really good potential signings and the long term could really help Rob Gale's Valor FC side. Now we move on to Forge FC and their signings at Bertrand Hawandi. We also have uh, the central midfielder Tristan Borges and attacking midfielder Marcel Zajac. Now the Hawandi is actually a great pickup 25 year old center back still coming of age at that position and he's actually now becoming a regular with the Cameroon national team, which is a great pickup. Um, with just to have that national experience and bring that to Forge FC, of course. This is a guy I think is going to be a, a regular center back in the starting 11 for Forge FC. So a great, great signing um, for Forge FC. Not a signing that not a lot of people are talking about, but I think they should be. And of course, they also have central midfielder Tristan Borges, a 20 year old midfielder, has huge, huge potential. Um, I think Hell, or I think uh, sorry, Forge FC here is sending a lot of great young talent that have huge caps 
uh, for their potential. And I think Borges is one of them. I think he's going to be a great, strong central midfielder. And then, of course, we got attacking midfielder Marcel Zajac, who's 20 years old, who actually left the university a year early so he can come sign with Forge FC. And this is actually a guy in Zajac who I believe is probably going to be or could have been a first round pick in the MLS in 2020. So this is a huge signing, again, that not a lot of people are actually talking about that Forge FC. These are three really good guys, and I think these guys, all three of them, are probably going to be regulars in the starting 11 in 2019 for Forge FC. Next up, we got York 9 FC's signings of defender Roger Thompson. He's 27 years old and actually has professional experience in Sweden, Germany, and Finland. So this is a guy um, probably going to play center back uh, who I think will come in and will bring a lot of experience there um, the two York Nines back for um, because he's played at those professional ranks he can bring that professionalism to York Nine for sure and of course we also have midfielder Joseph Ichara. Now this is a guy who has a great leadership um, values to him and he's actually a player Jim Brennan really likes and expects a lot out of and he actually is a League One Ontario All-Star in 2016 and 2017 and we also have here midfielder Manuel uh, Parcio here, 23 years old. This is a guy who I believe will probably play, if not in 2019 and in the future, a number 10 type role. Uh, I think he's going to be a really good attacking midfielder in the league. Very creative and some great vision on this kid. And again, this is a player Jimmy Brennan is very high on for his attack in 2019 and will probably be featured in match day one in the starting 11. And then finally, we got forward 20 year old. Cyrus Rolux, who was actually just recently signed. This kid in 2017 scored 17 goals in 17 matches in League One Ontario. I mean, that's pretty cool. And he's also, of course, recently coming from Toronto FC 2's academy team there. And so, or the Toronto FC 2 team there. And of course, uh, again, this is a player I don't know if he'll be a starter right off the bat there because, you know, they got the Swedish striker Simon Adagy there. So I do think he'll maybe will be playing number two behind him, but I think in the next two, three years there, he can definitely turn into a regular um, in the starting 11 for York 9 or for any CPL club and even become a CPL All-Star. Only one signing so far this month by Tommy Weldon Jr.'s Calvary FC, and that is striker Oliver Minatel and the 26-year-old. Actually, you might remember the name because in 2014, he was the leading goal scorer for the Ottawa Fury. So of course, he's playing Canada before, he's Brazilian, and just like the Twitter post, the hype it says, of course, every club needs a Brazilian, and uh, right? And so now we got a Brazilian here in Calgary with Calgary FC's Oliver Minatel. Now they forward, I believe will probably be in the starting 11 club match day one. And I really hope this player who um, has kind of, you know, fallen off, he's coming from the Australian semi-pro league, but uh, of course, you know, he's played in the Netherlands and Brazil academy systems years ago. I believe there's still something in this guy and I hope Tommy Wilden Jr.'s uh, probably an offensive type system in Calvary FC will help bring something out of him. I think this guy has got a great future still ahead of him and I think he can be a really good player in the Canadian Premier League and a really good signing for the Calvary FC. Now the last bit of news here is coming from FC Edmonton and that's their announcement of their new goalkeeping coach Lars Hirschfield as well as their signings of their first two ever goalkeepers Connor James as well as of course Dylan Pauli. Now all three of them are all Edmonton natives and of course Hirschfield is a former Canadian men's national team goalkeeper and will bring that experience to the club to those two young goalkeepers they just signed with Connor James 22 years old and Dylan Pauli 22 years old. Um, Pauli coming over from Sweden where he played professionally there and of course James coming over in the CPL U Sports Draft late last year and of course holds a number of Golden Bear records for goalkeeping there. These are two guys with a huge potential um, to be starters in the CPL. Um, one of them will, I do feel like they might split most of the games in 2019 though as they continue to develop. Um, but it's going to be some great goaltending competition in Edmonton come March for training camp, that's for sure. Alright guys here, so let's take a look at the Canadian Championship Tournament for 2019. The schedule was released a little bit ago, so I'm sure you guys have seen this here as we're going to take a look at the graphic here. Um, so the tournament starts in May and it will end actually a bit later than it usually does. It will end in September. And of course we got the three MLS clubs joining later in the round and of course USL's Auto Fury. Joining in round three, we got the champions TFC in the semifinals. 
I think this is a pretty cool setup. Of course, we got three teams that will make it out of round one that will qualify for round two, and then three teams from there to round three, and of course, three teams to round four, which is the semifinals, and of course, the two final teams in the finals in September. I think this is actually a pretty good format. Uh, I've seen a bunch of stuff on Reddit, um, of course, of like how you should do this. You should have pots, this, that. This is actually a pretty simple way to do it and it, it leads to expansion in the future when there's more clubs joining in 2020 and 2021 and so on. So I do like the system the way it is now, at least for 2019. I hope to see CPL clubs kind of in the, in the eyes of CSL kind of be seen as the same, at the same level as the USL's Ottawa Fury. I feel like talent-wise, they could potentially be there in 2019. Um, but of course, in 2019, I, I understand having Ottawa's team coming in later with the MLS Cubs because they have that experience. They already know um, what the CSL or the Canadian Soccer Championship is all about here. So, I mean, let me know in the comment section though what you think in the in the comments below. I think uh, it should be, you know, there's a lot of great storylines, a lot of great things to talk about here. You know, Battle of uh, Ontario, which club will go up against Ottawa Fury in the round three there as well as even the El Clasico. That's a definite potential um, coming up in round two, possibly. So, I mean, there's so much stuff to talk about here with the Canadian Championship. Super exciting time here to see this. So let me know in the comment section below what you think. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video and let me know in the comment section below what you think. Do you think Marcus Haber is gonna be a Golden Boot winner in 2019 for the CPL? And of course, also let me know about what you guys believe is going to be a great matchup or matchups to watch in the 2019 Canadian Championship Tournament. So there's a lot of great matchups that are potentially could happen, of course. So let me know down in the comment section below what you think. And if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more content just like this about the CPL, maybe consider hitting that red subscribe button. And, all, and to all those guys out there and girls who have subscribed to this channel, over 200 of you, I want to say thank you. Um, I really appreciate the support and let's keep the momentum building. Let's get some more subscribers going so I can keep doing these videos each and every Tuesday and hopefully even more than just one video a week. I would like to do multiples. So keep hitting that red subscribe button and keep hitting that like button. And of course, sharing the video also I appreciate it a lot. You can also see me on the northernstarting11.com website there. My videos are also there on Tuesdays as well. So check out the website. There's a lot of great podcasts there and a lot of great articles coming up in the future about the Canadian Premier League. So northernstarting11.com, I'll have a link to that in the description below. And until next time, thank you for watching.